Zambia, Chromium brings you free credit without spending a budu. Wow, wow. Call us mo Chromium kay. What's up, girl? Did you hear the latest greatest offer from Chromium? Chromium? They always come in great ways. Tell me about it. You can receive free credit without spending a budu. Oh, come on now. For real. Every minute of international call you receive, Chromium will give you three dollars. Call us mo Chromium. Also, every minute of crossnet call you receive, you will get one dollars. All I have to do is ask all my friends at home and abroad to call me on my Chromium line. You know you can use the same credit to call, text, and browse the internet. Oh, wow, wow. Call us more Chromium, okay? Call us more Chromium. Call us more Chromium, why? Chromium. Chromium. We are better together. Assalamu alaikum. Hello and good evening to everyone watching right now. Welcome to another week of the Fatu Show. I'm Mudiwa and I'll be your host for tonight. It's so good to be here. Now, before going any further, we'd like to specially thank our sponsors, Comium, of course, We're Better Together, and Gambega, Keep Drinking More Fanta, Coke, and Sprite. In the studios tonight, we have representatives from the YMCA, which is the Young Men's Christian Association in the Gambia. And on my immediate right, I have Mr. Thomas, Mr. Ishmael Thomas, who happens to be the branch manager and center head. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much, Dan. And on my left, I have Khalifa Merong. Thank Welcome you. to the show. Thank you very much. All right, for a kickstart, I would like you to tell us, Mr. Thomas, what the YMCA is. What is the YMCA? What is it all about? Thank you very much. The YMCA, it's um, uh, of the abbreviation of the word, it's Young Men Christian Association. Mm -hmm. And to the fact that, yes, we are Young Men Christian Association, we are not in the race of religion, we are not in the race of color, we are not in the race of ethic or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It's a movement of young people coming together mm -hmm. for an objective to meet the goal of young people. Mm -hmm. So we are there to promote young people in their work, in their school, in their living, mm -hmm. and in their day-to-day -day affair. And it's very beneficial. Now, what would you say have been some of your major accomplishments in the Gambia? At the YMCA, we were privileged to implement programs um, through our foreign partners called the Big Lottery Fund or the Finland partners of a project called the Takulege project. And in that project, we are privileged to train across the country from Basse to Coin, as we often say, almost 3,500 young people mm -hmm. in various skills of their choice, in welding, in carpentry, in aluminum, in catering, in hairdressing, as we said, skills of their choice. So you could see our movement is there to train young people to empower them in skills training and it does not only stop there after mm -hmm. the end of their training mm -hmm. we also set them up in a small scale business mm -hmm. and of course we believe that we'll be able to sustain them for a development future all right thank you sir now mr marron for what do you do at the ymc first of all i am a catering student at the ymc a catering student yeah. okay for how long have you been there so um, far two to three months two to three months. Yeah. How would you describe your experience there? How has it been? Um, it's been going so well. Okay. I've been loving it so much. Yeah, because yeah. at first I could do not, I know nothing about catering, yeah. but I just have two months, like two to three months in YMCA. Mm -hmm. I've not been there for a long while, mm -hmm. but I know quite a lot of things. Oh. There are a lot of things I can do on my own for now. Okay, yeah. that's good. Mr. Thomas? Being called the Young Men's Christian Association, have there been any religious affiliations? Even though you mentioned at the start that there have not been anything like that, but are well, you certain? Well, well actually, there, there has not been any of that nature. Mm -hmm. Actually, the, the, the movement has a board. Okay. And um, the board, based on their policy of constitution, the, the board should consist of Christian. Because as you see, the name sound, it's yeah. young. Mm -hmm. And what's their ultimate objective is that the people walking around their, their vicinity should be young people. Okay. And um, it's a Christ Christian movement, but it doesn't mean that, yes, all those who walk within that movement are Christians. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have uh, those of the other faith of Muslims walking um, with us. And um, we even bring in non-Christian to okay. work with us and to be even a member of a committee but you see, at the board level, 
yes, the, the policy is saying that, yes, we should only have Christians here. Mm -hmm. But at committee levels, because there are various um, programs within the YMCAs that there are committees that are set up, and in those committees we could have Christians and Muslims all to hold those positions. Mm -hmm. And, of course, even at the training center, it's not only specifically for, for, for Christians. It's mm -hmm. open for those of the other faith. Okay, so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, why did you call it the Young Men's Christian Association? Emphasis on men. Is it only, do you only deal with guys as in masculine? Well, no. <laughs> the, the, the movement was set up, um, um, not quite, but let me assume, mm -hmm. that there were four young boys, mm -hmm. I put it, uh, four young boys who were studying. Mm -hmm. And um, let's assume the first one was called Yusufa. Okay. I assume. Mm -hmm. The second one was called Charles. Mm -hmm. The other one was called maybe Mohammed. Mm -hmm. And the other one was called Alpha. Mm -hmm. So what they decided to do is to take the first letters of their name mm -hmm. and then eventually they discovered they got Young Men Christian Association. Okay. So they were young. Mm -hmm. And these were the men, they were young men together. Mm -hmm. And now they have put it as a movement, they call it now mm -hmm. a Christian association because they were young men. And mm -hmm. as I said, they, they were, these are young people who we are studying. Mm -hmm. And that's how the, the movement started growing mm -hmm. without, with their objective, with their thoughts, their missions, what they stand for. Of course, we also have young women, Christian association in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not that they are not in power with us, with okay. what we do, but they are Christian, young women, Christian association as well. Right, that's okay. That's, that's really nice. Okay, Marong, I'll be coming back to you now. Just for the youth who are watching right now and are hoping to be a part of the YNCA, what would, have there been any difficulties along the way, like during the three months you've been there? Um, well, at first, at my starting point, Mm -hmm. I was thinking that I could not do it. Okay. I was having difficulties mm -hmm. because I was like, I've never been to cooking. <coughs> I've never been to anything like catering. Mm -hmm. But as time goes on, I start liking it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's any difficulties. Mm -hmm. no. All right, no difficulties. All right, then you've heard it yourself, so you might as well want to join them. Sir Thomas. <laughs> I would want to call you Sir Thomas if it's okay with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you try to kill the myth of it being a masculine organization? Because most people are like, okay, this is just for the guys. And being a woman, you might want to get into it, but he hearing it from the name and being... You can see you um, from our previous or past projects, okay. um, there is a portion that tells us that Within our project components, we should train 